practice with fun with easy English. Today we will learn about active and passive vocabulary. In this episode, you will witness with two main parts. The first part consists of the hypothetical situation where the English foreign language learner cannot speak out what they want when having a conversation with a native speaker. The second part consists of an interview with the professor from Open Rajasthan University about tip for remembering the active and passive vocabulary. The benefits of having a number of both kinds of vocabulary and the example of this vocabulary. Have you ever been speedlit when meeting with the native speaker? You can't say a word out of your mouth through you know many vocabulary items. Let's take a look at the hypothetical situation for more understanding of my question. Tell me how to go to Ubonestani Airport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you can go there this way and um, um, turn tur left, left, and right, left, 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 and right. Yeah. What? what? Can we tackle the problem when we cannot speak of what we want when talking to a native speaker? In the next part, we will interview the professor from Upon Rajasthan University regarding information about active and passive vocabulary in order to help you understand about the types of vocabulary. Let's take a closer look. Welcome you all to the interview part. In this part is about the professor explaining the different meaning of active and passive vocabulary. Now I am with Dr. Tunapon Bortong, professor of linguistics at Upon Rajasthan University. Good morning, professor. How are you doing? I am doing great. You? I'm doing good too. Would you please tell us about active and passive vocabulary? Yes, let's start with the active vocabulary. Active vocabulary is vocabulary you can commonly use when speaking and writing. It is the vocabulary you can recall and use when situation requires. You can actively retrieve this type of vocabulary from your memory. Active vocabulary includes a table, a classroom, and a blackboard. Most of them are concrete. What about the passive vocabulary? Passive vocabulary is vocabulary you can understand but cannot automatically use when writing or speaking. With this kind of vocabulary, you can listen and understand the material in use. This kind of lexicon is also called language in the back of our brain. Passive vocabulary includes observation, revelation, and perseverance. Most of them are abstract. However, it has been found that all of native speakers, ESL students and EFL students, have a larger passive vocabulary size than the active one. Anyway, researchers suggest that EFL students understood and performed a better passive vocabulary. Wow, that is very interesting to know. Now, 
We change the atmosphere to talk about the next part in the park. In this part is about the example of passive and active vocabulary items. We are again with Dr. Tenopon, who will give us the example of passive and active vocabulary items. So, what are they? I will distinguish the example to be two parts, active and passive vocabulary, respectively. As for the examples of active vocabulary, they are basically concrete at a classroom, a table, and a blackboard. The examples of passive vocabulary items are suasion, revelation, and perseverance. These are the examples of passive and active vocabulary items. We are now approaching to the next part of interval. Okay, it seems like we are now having a clear understanding of these types of vocabulary items. Next, we will talk about some tips for English foreign language learners to remember the passive and active vocabulary in a long run. So, According to your perspective, what are some interesting tips for English foreign language learners to remember active and passive vocabulary in the long term? In my opinion, there are two interesting tips. First, speaking to yourself in front of the mirror and an English word a day. I will explain them clearly in each technique. As for speaking in front of the mirror, you have to choose one active and passive vocabulary or more to speak them out in front of the mirror. The pronunciation or the stress and most importantly, putting the words into the section by looking at the mirror to see your mouth, your tongue, it helps you to see the movement of your lips and tongue while listening to your voice. <coughs> Ooh, can't you feel the breeze from the subway? Isn't it delicious? <laughs> Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. I am big. It's the pictures that are small. The second is an English word a day. With this technique, you can pick only one word up. Use it as much as possible. In one day, by creating sentences of different kinds. Alright Eliza, say it again. They rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. Didn't I say that? No, Eliza, you didn't sigh that. You didn't even say that. Every night before you get into bed where you used to say your prayers, I want you to say the rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain 50 times. Much further with the Lord if you learn not to offend his ears. So, the next part is about the benefits of having a large number of active and passive vocabulary items. We are Dr. Tana Pon for further information. Dr. Tana Pon, what are the benefits of having? a number of both kinds of vocabulary items in our brand. The benefits of having a number of passive and active vocabulary in our brand has something to do with language. You will become proficient in English when expressing thoughts and ideas in English. Firstly, the more you use them, the more proficient you will become. Fluency is the first priority here. Secondly, when you become proficient in active and passive vocabulary, 
you are good at English in all four skills: writing, speaking, reading, and listening. Your level on learning English will develop greatly. This is to say that your level may escalate from a basic level to an immediate or an advanced level. After you become proficient and good at English skills, you can express your thoughts and ideas in English more effectively and fluently. Because your brain contains lots of vocabulary, you will express yourself more confidently. Thank you, Dr. Tanaphorn, Professor of Linguistics at Upper Ratatouille University. You're welcome. I'm honored to be here. You can follow the rerun of the program on YouTube at 8 to 10 p.m. every day. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.